Welcome to this demonstration of Transana software. My name is Nicholas Schoen. Transana is an open source software program. It works well on both a Mac and a PC, which is very important. There are two versions of Transana. There's a single user version and a multi-user version. Today I'll be talking about the multi-user version, which facilitates uh, teamwork, so multiple people logging in and looking at the same data together. There's more information, obviously, on the Transana website if you'd like to see some tutorials. Um, so here's some scenarios. Let's say uh, you have an intern conducting counseling sessions but needs input from a supervisor. Having video recordings of these sessions is great, but at the same time it's a lot of work for the supervisor to uh, keep track of all this data. So Transana would actually allow the student to review their own sessions using these features that I developed called time charts to track how well they're doing, how much of the interaction is achieving the goals that they want in the therapeutic relationship. Transana would be a sort of a, an interface for the counselor to keep a supervision journal, uh, do their own interpersonal process recall, how they're feeling about a certain interaction, write down clinical notes, progress notes, etc. So that's one way that Transana can be used by the intern for what I call self-supervision and training. Transana would also allow this intern to contact a supervisor. The intern emails the supervisor and asks them to provide some focused feedback on a certain difficult moment uh, of the session. So the supervisor can look at the intern's notes, look at the time charts, actually review the data if the intern gives it to the uh, supervisor. Then the supervisor could write their own notes and observations uh, next to the, the interns and the intern could log in and see those notes in time for the next session. And to do this they don't have to be in the same building or even the same continent. They all do this through the internet using Transana. Another scenario that's possible with uh, Transana would be if you have a team of practitioners working in a clinic or researchers looking at uh, CPP outcomes. Um, so let's say we have a series of, of sessions that are coded for evidence of treatment progress. For instance, any time in the video where there's improved interaction between the parent and the child, or the child is opening up about uh, the trauma, or the parent is you know, showing certain empathy towards the child. Those things would be coded and uh, marked along the timeline of the session. The therapy team can then review a chart showing all these timelines of multiple sessions and note trends in the treatment and see whether it's actually living up to the treatment plan, if there's progress being made. I suppose as well it might be useful to show the parents how much they've progressed since the first few sessions and show selected segments of the video. Here is the Transana interface. Um, in this part here you see a visual representation of the audio. This is the video. This is the database tree which shows you which files you've entered into the database and which ones you want to analyze. This is the transcript or annotation window where you add time codes and your type in your annotations on what you're hearing in the audio. I wanted to show you a little bit uh, from a project that I'm doing analyzing the control sessions from an enhanced HIV test counseling intervention that I did with the UCSF AIDS Health Project. A colleague of mine in New York who's a counselor trainer was hired to do some coding of the sessions. I trained him on how to use Transana over the phone. He had it on his Mac and I had it on my PC and basically we were able to I was able to train him on the phone using the multi-user version so here's an example of some of the coding that he's done in this session here he types in the notes notes about what's happening and I asked him to pay attention to certain communication formats and where they occurred in the session so he inserted time codes inserted some notes about what they were doing and then coded these segments uh, using different categories like reason for testing, health education, data collection, and counseling. So as he's coding these little bars appear along the timeline which gives him a little bit of visual feedback on what codes he's assigning. This is an audio file so the video doesn't appear just this control window. The starting and stopping of the audio is done through keyboard shortcuts while you're typing in the transcript window. So the feature that I had 
uh, David Woods develop was the ability to see multiple sessions all in one chart. So I'd like to show you an example of 30 sessions in one chart. So the yellow is where the counselor is filling out a data collection form. The red is health education where the counselor is talking. The blue is where the counselor is listening and the client is talking. Some of these sessions as you can see are almost entirely health education with a little bit of data collection, tiny bit of counseling. Seeing their work arrayed in this way leads counselors to reflect on practice in new ways. For instance, it's often quite striking to counselors how little counseling there is and how much of the session they've devoted to health education and data collection. Also, the point at which counseling happens in the session, usually following a long stint of health education, is also used as a teaching point to try to get counselors to get the client talking earlier in the session and spend less time providing a lot of information. Here's an example of a session where the client talked at the beginning and then there was a lot of counseling that happened later on, very little health education. The form was pushed to the very end and it was dealt with rather quickly. So counselors seeing that this is possible then know that they can actually incorporate this strategy in their own sessions. So the charts provide a sort of objective representation of actual practice that then can be used to generate questions about practice, questions about the efficacy of a certain strategy, which then takes you from looking at strategies in practice to testing theories. The coder in New York had some questions about some of the data segments where he wasn't sure if they fit into one category or the other. So he would uh, use a special code for that. And so let's say I was supervising him and he wanted me to look at those per particular sections of the data set I would just choose that code and filter to that and here we see these are the segments that he wanted me to look at these charts are interactive in that if I click on it it uh, goes to that data segment and here I see what he's written I can listen to the session here I've inserted my notes in a different color then I can go in and change which codes are applied to that particular segment here and I can add different codes, add other codes. If I would like to look at this segment in the context of the entire session I can just open up the session and here we see all the, the rest of the coding. So that's Transana in a nutshell. I wanted to talk a little bit about data security the database sits on a SQL server that's protected by the UCSF firewall. The server actually is at CAPS. If you want to change who has access to the database, you just email me and I'll... It just takes a couple minutes. To see the session annotations on the database, the work that, say, the intern or another member of the team has done, you have to actually have the video file or DVD with the video file on your computer. So the only people who have access to the actual notes and codes and time charts are people who have the uh, physical data files on their computer. The video data are, is not stored on the database, it's stored locally on your computer. So the intern has a copy of the sessions that they recorded and if they want the supervisor to see parts of those sessions they need to give that data to the supervisor. In cases where the intern and supervisor are not in the same country or place and they can't physically give each other the disk. There is a feature on Transana called the Secure Resource Broker and that allows you to send video data from one team member to another and access to the CERB requires a separate password. Finally I wanted to point you to my website palmpal.org. If you click on the projects you will find more links to my counseling work, uh, methodological links that explain Transana, and then finally uh, to train people on Transana I've developed a lost database based on the television show. A great way to train interns on how to use go to transana.org. Uh, there's a guided tour, there is even a set of screencasts that take you on a tour of the Transana interface.